Vintage Story is a survival sandbox game with a slight horror theme. I've been playing it for a little while and thought it would be fun to try to make some content on it. Enjoy! Oh wow! So here we are! Okay, um... Last selection, because this one seems to be... Oh, yep, thank you, thank you. That's, that, that's enough. <laughs> this one seems to be the closest one to my skin that I usually use, so uh, uh, please pardon the underwear. Let's go like that, uh, and I'll, I'll confirm. Perfect. So for this, I want to do Hunter, mainly because I'm most comfortable with Hunter, and um, I want to get better at, you know, range type of, of fighting and stuff like that, so uh, I'm just going to stick with Hunter for now. And of course... It's raining, but look at this. We've got, actually, this is a pretty cool start. We've got a trader right here. Hey, how's it going, Hosa? Yeah, yeah, I don't know anything about what you're talking about. For anyone who hasn't played this before, you can click on these and they'll give you a little bit of lore. Uh, but I just want to see what Hosa has to trade. So this is a, a furniture trader. Which is pretty neat, you know, they've got uh, some lanterns, some of the late game, st game stuff like paintings. Ooh, iron fence. That's not too bad. And what do you buy? Uh, pants? No. No. Nothing really so far. Ooh, some glass. But again, I'm not going to have that for a little while. How rude of me. <laughs> My name is Tater Vader 5 and apparently I don't want to look at the camera right now. There we go. <laughs> so... Welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you're not new here, welcome back. Actually, uh, while we're here, I want to get rid of this mask. I'm not going to use the mask for anything. So, um, there we go. That's much better. Okay, great. Well, here we are in Vintage Story. This is my first ever series playing Vintage Story, but uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I've been playing this game quite a bit more recently, and I wanted to see if I could, uh, you know, bring you guys a Oh. There we go, right away. Right away, let's mark that. We've got copper on the map right there. And let's make it orange and perfect. Okay, so we, that's a good start. That's a really good start. I've, I've moved like 10 blocks and I've already got some surface copper. So that's really good. So first things first, I need to get myself uh, some cattails because... Uh, you see, I don't, I don't have any inventory. <laughs> I need to change that. So in order to change that, I've got to make some hand baskets. So we've got uh, three pieces of flint. That's great. Now I just need some, oh, branchy birch leaves. Give me a stick. Nice, because I'm going to need a knife if I want to harvest those cattails. Okay, so I made my knife, and then I'm just picking up some of these mushrooms on the ground for food, just in case. Because uh, you never know, we, we may not find anything useful to eat here for a while. Perfect. Okay, so now let's find some water, uh, because that's where cattails are probably going to be growing at. Hey, there's water! Oh, and berry bushes! Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, okay, so here's a bunch of water over here. See if you see any cattails. Ooh, flint. I'll take it. And more berries. I'll take it. Good. We are doing good on food right off the bat. But my inventory is getting really full. And that's kind of making me nervous. So I'm going to hold off on getting more food for now. Uh, just because we need this inventory space. And I am not seeing any cattails whatsoever. I do see some ruins, but... Uh, how deep is it? We'll hold off on the ruins just because I don't really have that much, that much space. So, um, I'm going to keep walking around, see if I can find some cattails so we can get some hand baskets. Oh, wow. There's meese. There's meese. There's two of them. Those things are dangerous. But look what we've got here. We've got some rye. Unfortunately, again, like my, my inventory is not doing good. Uh, I think I'll mark it on the map just because we will want to have... Uh, the seeds, at least, in the near future. So let's make it that and that. Sure, sounds good. Now I want to, I want to see what's on the other side of this hill, but I also want to avoid those uh, 
<laughs> those Mises if we can. So I'm going to try to skirt around them over here. I really don't want them chasing me. But, so, <laughs> I really don't want to go into these woods either. Because um, that's where we might encounter some wolves. Which would be terrible. Especially right off the bat. Okay, so far so good. I don't hear any wolves. I don't see the meese. Oh, that was a bird. <laughs> okay, so I see some... I see some water over here. I don't see... Oh, there's cattails. I see cattails. Okay, let's go get them. Hey, bunnies. Don't mind me. Okay, so... Ooh, what is this? That's more rye. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to be hopefully set for seeds right off the bat. I'd really like to see some flax. The flax would be absolutely fantastic, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. Okay, so I want to get, I think it's 40 of these cattails, so I'm just going to go around here. Hopefully we can get 40 of them. And then, ooh, was that a deer? Yes, two deer. That's really cool. I like this area over here too, by the way. It's nice and flat. I like that it's flat and it's near water. Hmm, this might be an option for, you know, starting up our, our first little hovel that we're going to have in this game. But I'm going to... Go ahead and get 40 of these, hopefully, and then we can make some hand baskets. All right, so we've got a ruin over here. Uh, if we're really, really, really lucky, there will be like a forage container that has, because I just need three more. and I need three more, guys. And look at this. We've got some fire clay right here. So that that might give us something to do the first night, which is awesome. Come on, give me any, anything, anything really. <laughs> a forage vessel would be great right now. Okay, nothing down there. And if we didn't have the clay, I do see this bony soil, which uh, we could do some panning on the first night. But I think, I think clay is going to be the, the number one priority. No way, farming. And, oh, do you see that? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we've got 46. Uh, I believe I just go like, like this. Like so. One. Oh, look at that. Inventory is increasing as we go. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Good. And we've got some left over. This was a great find. I like this area. There's more exploring to do, and if you look, there's a bunch of berries around too. So uh, let me get uh, a little bit something set up. I'm gonna I'm gonna need to make a shovel first. Uh, so let's make a shovel, uh, like a so. You know it's funny. As soon as you turn the camera on, you get much less efficient at things like making shovel heads. Okay, so I've got a shovel head. I've got a stick. I'm going to need more sticks too, by the way. And now we've got a shovel. So I can um, take some of that clay. I can dig around. So let me, uh, before I do that, I'll get a bunch of dirt. I'll make myself a little dirt hut over here. And then we'll, uh, we'll see what else we can do before nightfall comes. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a, a dirt hidey hole started out here. But the sun is going down. So uh, what I want to do right now is I want to gather more, a couple more sticks. I don't think I'm going to be able to get firewood right now, but come on. Get, oh, there we go. Okay, so uh, because I want to be able to make a fire, a torch, um, and get some of that, uh, that clay as quickly as we can. Okay, so hopefully that's enough sticks. Um, so now let's get some grass like this. We're going to need lots of grass. Okay, that should do good for now. Eight? Uh, it depends. So I want to make a bed. Now nah, we're not going to sleep the first night. Okay, so that's enough. Uh, so then I want to get some of the clay, which I believe is right down here. Let's get as much of the clay as we can, uh, given that the shovel is about to die. <laughs> I should have made two shovels. I had enough flint for it and enough sticks right off the bat. But that's okay. I'm just going to gather this clay. And then um, the next thing, if we can, 
is I would like to try to chop down a tree to get some wood so that we can start a fire. But that might not be possible, to be honest with you, before nightfall comes. So let me rush through this, go as fast as I can, and then I'll get right back with you. Cross your fingers. So we're looking for a short tree, and it looks like we're going to make it on time, by the way, guys. But uh, this one, uh, this is like the shortest one around. So um, I guess it is what it is. Let's, uh, let's get to chopping, and then um, get as much firewood as we can, and then hide in the little hidey hole over there. Nice. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of the way. Falling trees and whatnot. <laughs> okay, so this is where we're going to be spending the first night. Um, I mean, it's not much. <laughs> it's not much at all. But let's uh, let's put some of this dirt up just so we can clear the inventory a little bit. Like so. One more. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got this area here. I don't need these things, but I'll take them, I guess. Uh, so first things first, let's make a torch. So I believe a torch is some grass. Yes, perfect. Just like so. And then what I need to do is make a fire starter like this. Good. Okay, perfect. So now I'll place down my torch right there. Sure, why not? And then <laughs> let's get this thing lit. So we have some... That was probably the fastest I've ever done that just so everyone's tracking okay so I've got this uh clay here and let's think what are we gonna make let's get over here by the light so you can actually see what's going on I think one of the first things that we'll make is a cooking pot that'll be good uh and then the next thing we'll make is a oh, I gotta get this out of the way is four bowls good and then hmm so how far do we want to go in this I like that it's calm out right now, so I don't have to worry about drifters coming by. Uh, so, let's see. We want to, we're going to eventually want to have, um, well, let's do a storage vessel, just because storage is obviously a big deal early on. And then, let's do a crucible. Crucible's good to have right there. And then, hmm... We're going to want to have uh, anvil mold, but since we're on the molds, we're probably going to want to have a pickaxe as well. Where are you, pickaxe? Pickaxe, 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 pickaxe. Am I missing it? Oh, there it is. And then finally, get out of here. Uh, and I actually, I said finally, but I didn't mean finally. Uh, we're going to want a hammer. Hammer? Anywhere? Hammer? 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 Anywhere, not health hammer. There it is, a hammer. And now, actually, finally, I think, <laughs> is some uh, raw ingot molds. So I'm going to get started on these. Uh, this is very boring work, so I'm not going to make you suffer through it. Hopefully, we'll get done with it by the time um, daylight comes. I got to work slinging Play-Doh around the dirt hut, feeling very proud of myself for remembering that it isn't a good idea to eat any of my creations. Soon though, I ran into a bit of a problem. You guessed it, I didn't get enough clay. So I did what anyone would do. I braved the darkness of night and got more to finish the clay forming, which brought us to morning. Okay, so now that we've got all of our molds done, uh, the next thing, here, let's, let's put some of these things down. Uh, the next thing is, we want to get started on firing the clay, uh, get some food. I think those are the most immediate. Ew, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, we have a, a current risk, rift activity is high, which is very unfortunate. So, uh, oh goodness, that's bright. So I've got some wood. That's probably enough. I definitely need more sticks. So I think that's what we're going to do next. Is let's, let's gather some sticks. And then if we pass any berries on the way, even better. Nice, a larch seed. And a birch seed. And there we have it. We've got all of our potter, well, not all of it. I've, I've still got some of the molds that still need to, to cook up, but we're on a really good start. I've got some food. I'm making progress. I'm setting things on fire. 
Always a good thing. I need to put more of these rocks around for sure. So I've actually <laughs> I've actually started a forest fire that burned down like a lot before. So I'd like to avoid that if I can. And there. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, we survived our first day. We're on to our second. Making some really good progress here. But that's all the time I've got for this one. I'm really excited to be playing this game. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. See ya.